Oh. Uh, we've got a couple of minutes. Just get okay. ready in your spot. Or just give yourself a little bit of settling in. Just get into your position. I know it looks like Jenny Thurston's going to join us too today. Hello, Jenny. How are you going? Okay. Good. Your body okay? Yeah, a bit stiff from yesterday. Yeah. Ah, excellent. You all worked very hard yesterday. Those AMRAPs where you're all trying to do as many reps as possible, you all went really well on that. It makes you work harder, doesn't it? It does. It, it certainly <laughs> does. <laughs> okay, I'll put you all on mute and then we'll get started. Okay, well, thank you all for joining me today, spending the time to do some lovely yoga together. Today we're going to focus again on strength and we will do um, a bit of strength movements in our yoga today and as we move through that will be our, um, our goal and our intention, just to be stronger, stronger in our body and stronger in our mind. And then we'll finish off with yoga nidra at the end. So getting yourself in a comfortable seated position. And let's just arrive in our space, softening your eyes, coming up onto your sit bones and lifting your spine up nice and tall. Just resting your hands on your knees or in your lap. Taking some deep breaths, coming back to your breath. Notice the rise in your chest as you inhale and the fall as you exhale. Noticing the earth supporting you underneath your buttocks and your feet. As you inhale, inhaling the energies from the earth up through the base and coming up your spine, bringing you some beautiful earth energy. Checking in with your body, noticing how you're feeling today. Remember in our practice, just do what you can do. Every day our body's a little different. So do what feels right for you. Let's start to bring some movement into our shoulders. And then come a little bigger. Bring your arms back, circle the other way. And then bring your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind you, going into a twist to the right side. Bringing your spine up nice and tall, taking some deep breaths here. One more breath on this side and then inhale as you come to centre and then exhale to the other side. <clears throat> Looking over your left shoulder and twisting your spine, getting some nice movement happening. Imagine your spine is like a, a tree trunk, really nice and tall and strong with its roots down into the earth. And then coming back to center, do a couple of movements for our neck from side to side. And out on the back of the neck. 
and inhale, lift up, strengthening the muscles in the front of the neck. Just do a couple more rounds with your breath. And bring your head back to centre. Bring your right hand up and over. And as you gently bring your head towards the right side, lower your left shoulder a little. So you get a nice stretch through this area here, through the rhomboids. And then take it to the other side. This time drop in the right shoulder a little bit. So the body stays still. It's just our head and our shoulders moving a little bit. Gently stretching our neck. Let's go one more to each side. And then coming on to all fours. Let's get some movement into our spine as we inhale lifting our chest up and gazing up getting a nice dip into the back drop your belly button down towards the earth and then exhale lifting your spine up and bring your belly button up towards the ceiling noticing nice stretch through the shoulders and the neck and softening your eyes and continue on at your own pace stretching your spine and warming it up and opening up the little spaces between the vertebrae. Hands nice and open, fingers spread and knees underneath your hips. And then start to move your body in a circle, just getting some stretching to your wrists. And then let's point our fingers in towards each other, if that's comfortable for you, and move your body in a just a nice gentle little circle. And then the other way. And if it's comfortable for you, pointing your hands, your fingers back towards your body, you might do one at a time, or you might do them both. little circles just nice and gentle and then point your fingers back towards the front again from here let's take our knees a little wider and bring our buttocks down to our heel and walk our hands forward into a child's pose taking our elbows a little more forward and then bring your palms together and lifting the palms up behind your head like a shark's fin so we're stretching a little bit of our triceps as well Just taking some deep breaths here. Let's take four more breaths. to the mat, roll over your toes, lift your up towards the ceiling into your downward dog, walking your heels down, that's it. gently bringing your knees down to the mat and we're going to do thread the needle next so bring the right hand underneath you with your left hand inhale and lift it up towards the sky take your gaze with the hand and then exhale thread it underneath the right stretching out the shoulder inhale coming up opening up through the chest and exhale Hover it underneath the right. 
And on our third round, we're going to inhale, bring our arm up. And as we exhale, we'll bring our shoulder and our arm down to the mat and slide the right hand forward, feeling the stretch through the left scapula. Just taking a few breaths here, really giving that a nice stretch. And then on the next inhalation, bring the left hand back up to the mat underneath you. And we'll take the thread the needle to the other side. Inhaling, lifting the right hand up. Take your eyes with it and exhale, hover it underneath the left. Looking towards the left, the right hand. Inhale, lift up. Feel that stretch through the chest and exhale, hover the right hand under the left. And on our third round, we're going to come all the way up and then bring our shoulder and our ear down towards the mat and slide the left hand forward. Take a few breaths here. Notice the stretch with the right scapula. And then inhale, coming back up to the mat. And we'll take it through a sequence with some upward dogs. And as we inhale, lift our chest up, bring our body forward and our hips forward. And exhale, come back to child's pose. Moving through at your own pace. As you inhale, lift up into upward dog. Keep your knees on the ground or you can lift them off if you want. Nice and gentle at this time as we're just starting to warm up. Just do a few rounds just with the timing of your breath. back in all fours. And from here, we're going to do start on our strength work, bringing our hands right out to the edge of the mat and bring the hips forward. We're going to inhale and bring our chest down to halfway and then exhale, press up. Inhale, back down to halfway. And exhale, come back up. So continuing on. Getting some nice strength through the chest and the arms. Let's do two more rounds. And then bring the front of your body down to the mat. Bring your hands just underneath your chin, bending your knees and taking both feet towards the left side and then take them to the right. Getting some movement in the lower back, just freeing up your spine. Taking it from side to side. And then bring the hands underneath your shoulders and lift the chest up. And we'll take it into downward dog again. So rolling over your toes, coming up into downward dog. Walking your heels to the mat. And then walking your hands towards your feet, coming into a forward bend. Drawing your chest in towards your legs, just letting your crown of your head point down towards the earth and taking some breaths here, stretching out through your hamstrings, your glutes and your lower back. Just taking some breaths here, softening your eyes.
on the next inhalation, slight bend in your knees and come up to mountain pose. Nice, and then taking our feet wide into goddess pose and bringing our hands out to cactus. We're going to inhale as we lower our body down and exhale, calming up. Inhale, back down and exhale up. So slight down and up. Using the strength in your thighs. That's it. And then coming down into a comfortable low position with your chest up nice and tall. And we're going to stay here while we move our hands and our elbows together. And inhale, bring our hands out, squeeze our shoulder blades. Inhale together. And exhale out. Just going at your pace with your breath, keeping your legs nice and strong. And then bring your hands back to center and then take them down to the floor. Take your feet out a little wider into a wide-legged forward bend. Let the crown of your head point down to the earth and stretching out. Let your body fall heavy so you get a nice relax and opening through the spine and through the lower back. Taking some deep breaths in and out. Feeling the earth supporting you underneath your palms and underneath your feet. And then slowly lifting your chest, lengthening out your spine. And then walking your heels and toes together. And come back up to a seat, a standing position. And let's take it into a chair pose. So this time we're going to have our feet about hip width apart and we're going to bring our hands to our chest and bring our bottom down coming into chair pose with our chest up nice and tall and then bring our hands out the front keeping the chest up nice and tall placing the weight onto our heels just keeping it nice and strong, nice and strong through your spine. Imagine your spine's like that big old tree trunk. And then let's move our hands behind and in front. It's like the tree swaying in the wind. Getting some nice movement through the shoulders, keeping it nice and strong. And then lengthening out through the legs, coming back up to standing. Give your legs a nice shake. And let's stretch up into mountain pose. So clasping your fingers and then lifting all the way up, stretching up nice and tall and taking it from one side to the other. Stretching up the sides of your body. Inhale to the center and exhale to the side. Bring our hands behind us in that clasp position. Bring our chest forward and lifting our hands off our back, stretching through the shoulders. Connecting also to the stretch down the back of the legs. Just taking a few breaths here. And then really 
releasing the hands and coming back up to standing, come to the back of the mat with the left foot slightly turned out. We're gonna step forward with the right foot into our warrior one, bending the right knee and bringing the hands out, bringing our hands to, towards the back. So we're squeezing through the shoulder blades, feeling that nice stretch through the left hip flexor, taking our gaze towards the right hand. Keeping it nice and strong through the legs. And then inhale, lift the right hand up and take the left hand down the back of the left leg, reaching up towards the ceiling. And then exhaling and bringing the right hand down next to your right foot. If you have a block, you can place the block next to your right foot there and then lift up left hand, lengthen out the right leg into triangle pose. Opening up through the chest, a nice twist in the upper back. And then release the left hand down. Come back up to standing and bring your feet to the back of the mat. And we take it to the other side. So let's step forward with the left foot, turning the right toes slightly out. Check that your left heel is in line roughly with your arch of your right foot and the hips and chest is facing forward. Let's inhale, bending the left knee and bring the left hand forward, right hand back. Bring your hands towards the back of you so you feel that squeeze through the scapulas, gazing at the left hand, keeping your legs nice and strong. Taking one more breath here. And then on the next inhalation, bring the left hand up towards the sky and the right hand slide it down the back of your right leg, reaching up towards the ceiling, keeping the legs strong, feeling the nice stretch through the whole front of the body, especially on the left side and down through the right hip. On the next exhalation, bring the left hand down to the inside of your left leg. Lengthen out the left leg and then lift the right hand up towards the sky into triangle, opening up through the chest, bring the hand towards back of the body. Gazing towards the right hand. And then on the next exhalation, bring the right hand down and actually coming down to the mat now. <clears throat> so we're gonna bend our knees here, have the, our heels on the mat, hands out in front. As we inhale, we're going to slowly lower our chest back. And as we exhale, come up a little bit. So we're working on the ab strength here, keeping your chest nice and tall. That's it. You can make it a little bit easier by putting your hands on your knees or you can have them at the side. That's it. So just working it backwards and forwards. Inhale as you control it down. Exhale as you come up. That's it. Gazing forward. On the next inhalation, bring it down, just holding it here for a count of five, four, three, two, and one, and then bring it back down to the mat and hug your knees up to your chest. I've got a nice doggy pillow here. And rolling your knees in a circle, rinsing out your back and take it to the other side as well. Mm -hmm. 
So bringing your feet down to the back and bring your hands into cactus. We're going to drop our knees to the left and look to the right, getting a nice twist in our lower back. Taking a few breaths here. And then inhale, bring the knees to the center. And exhale, take it to the right and look to the left. Getting a nice stretch down the left side of the body. And then inhale, bring the knees back to center and come back up to seated position. Bringing our legs out in front of us with our feet flexed, bending the left knee and bringing it up next to the right leg up in your groin area. Come up onto your sit bones, nice and tall, flexing the right foot. Inhale, reaching up nice and tall and exhale, folding forward, bringing your hands down to your toes or your ankle or your shins and take a few breaths. So stretching through the glute area and the ITB on the left side to hopefully open up the lower back a little bit, take easily any tension you may have there. Taking one more breath and then come up and switch your legs over, <laughs> bending the right knee this time. Bring the right foot into the groin on the left side. Come up onto your sit bones, nice tall spine. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, bring your body forward. If you feel that your knee is up high, you can just place a block under it. Give you a bit more support. So gazing towards your left toes, Taking a couple of breaths here. And then inhale, come back up. And this time bring both legs forward and stretch up. Flexing your feet and bring both hands forward. Keep your chest up, looking towards your toes. Bring your hands to your toes or your ankles or your shins. Gazing forward. You might be able to hold on to the outside of your feet. Whatever's going to work for you today. Taking two more breaths here. And then release your hands and come up to sitting and bring your feet wide this time. We're going to do forward bend with our feet wide lifting up coming up onto your sit bones inhale come up nice and tall and then exhale bring your hands forward bring the palms down to the mat and just reaching your body forward feet flexed and feeling that nice stretch down the back of the hamstrings a little bit of lower back bring your chest as close as you can down towards the earth Taking a couple of breaths here. And then inhale, slide your hands back towards your body. And then bring the soles of your feet together. Again, up onto your sit bones, holding on to your feet and letting your knees fall out towards the side. Chest up nice and tall. Feel that nice stretch through the groin area this time. You can soften your eyes here and come back to the intention of our practice to be strong, strong in our body and strong in our minds. Let's take some deep breaths. And then releasing our hands and coming onto our backs into a bridge position. So our knees are bent and our feet are on the floor. Placing our palms down. 
sliding our heels towards our buttocks. As we inhale, lift up through the hips, squeeze the buttocks, and then bring the hands up and over the top to the ground behind you. In my case, into the poodle behind you. And then as you exhale, slowly lower your spine back down to the mat. Bring your hands back over. And then repeat it. So just move with your breath. Inhale as you come up. High as you can, bring your hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the buttocks, push through the heels. Hands over the top. Pause. And then slowly bring the hands back down and bring the spine down like a bite chain onto the mat. Let's continue on a few more breaths here. On the last one, as you lift up, this time bring your hands underneath and clasp them. Bring your shoulders a little close together and just really squeeze the buttocks, lift up through the hips. And just hold it here for a couple of breaths, really stretching out, strengthening through the, the thighs and the glutes. And then release your hands, slowly lower it your body down to the earth, hug your knees up to your chest, rinse it out with Apanasana. You might want to roll your hips in a circle or from side to side. And from here, we're going to go into our legs up position. So you might like to slide across to the wall or where you might have something there that you can clean up against. You might like to put a bolster or a block underneath your lower back and lift your legs up or come up into shoulder stand. Whatever feels right for you today. Just taking some nice deep breaths, coming back to your breath. Moving your feet with some little circles. You might like to take your feet out wide. Just continue coming back to your breath. And bring your legs back together again, taking your knees out to the side like a butterfly. Stretching your legs back up towards the ceiling and take them feet over the top of your head a little bit. Just tuning into your breath, noticing your spine and your hands supported by the earth. Checking in with your body, noticing how you feel, and checking in with your mind. Let's take two more breaths here. And then slowly bringing your legs back down to the mat. And coming into your Savasana position ready for your yoga nidra. So getting yourself nice and comfortable and nice and warm. You might like to put a blanket over yourself. Put your cardigan on. If you have an eye pillow, you can use that too. Taking three deep 
relaxing breaths, relaxing your body. Be aware of the sounds in the distance, moving your awareness from sound to sound without attempting to identify the sound. Be aware of your physical body laying in Savasana. Be aware of your alignment, your chin lower than your forehead, your spine aligned, your arms close to the body, fingers away from the floor, as comfortable as possible. Become aware of your natural breath and keep it completely spontaneous. Repeat your intention mentally three times with feeling. Rotate your consciousness around your body, starting with your right hand thumb, forefinger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, palm, back of your hand, forearm, elbow, upper arm, Shoulder, armpit, right side trunk, hip, thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, top of your foot, bottom of your foot, toes, first, Second, third, fourth, fifth. Check your awareness that you're still awake and rotate your consciousness to the left side of your body, beginning the left hand thumb, forefinger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, palm, back of your hand, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, left side of your trunk, hip, thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, Heel, top of your foot, bottom of your foot, toes, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Check your awareness that you're still awake and move your attention to the back of your body your heels, back of your legs, buttocks, back, shoulder, arms, hands, your whole spine, neck, back of your head, crown of your head, forehead, Right temple, left temple, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, eyebrow center, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, 
right cheek, left cheek, right nostril, left nostril, lips, chin, throat, chest, 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 abdomen, 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 pelvis, 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 become aware of your breath, counting back from 17 to zero. Check your awareness that you're still awake. Awakening the feeling of warmth within your body. Your whole body is warm. Your feet are warm. Your legs are warm. Your trunk is warm. Your arms are warm. Your back is warm. Your head is warm. An awakened feeling of coolness within your body. Your head is cool. Your chest is cool. Your back is cool. Your legs are cool. Your feet are cool. Your whole body is cool. Bring your awareness to the front of your closed eyes and imagine the following objects as they are named. A beautiful sunrise, a full moon over the water, a rainbow, the sound of the rain, a waterfall, a white rose, a beautiful garden, a clear blue sky, colourful autumn leaves, the sound of the ocean, pelican. Now is the time in your practice to repeat your intention three more times.
bring your awareness back to your breath. Feel your body resting in Savasana. Aware of the room that you're in and the surrounds. The floor, the walls, the ceiling, the windows. Recall the time of day and know that the practice of yoga nidra is coming to an end. I'll chime the sing singing bowl once. The practice of yoga nidra is now complete. Wiggling your fingers and toes and stretching out your hands and your feet. Gently rolling to one side. And when you're ready, come up to a comfortable seated position. Let's bring our hands to our heart center. Bring our hands up to our forehead for kind thoughts and to our lips for kind words and to our heart for a kind heart. Namaste. Thank you today for your beautiful yoga practice and for spending the time with us all. How's, how did everybody go today?